Hello and welcome to the Eagle Eye University video training series. In this video, we're going to talk about users, how to add them, and how to configure user permissions. Within your in-user account, your customer's account, over to the left, under the navigation field, you want to select users. Once you select users, you simply select add user or the yellow and white plus icon. Select one of those icons and now put in your user's email address, put in your user's name. We'll just use my name for this. And you'll notice you have the option to clone permissions from existing users. This is a great way to quickly add permissions for users that all share uh, common use cases. And so maybe this is a security guard or another user. Now you can't do this without having an existing user already in place. Next, you wanna go to your permissions tab. And by default, you'll notice that the user has the ability to view and download videos. This is perfect for most end users, but it may not be appropriate for your end users. You have to determine in discussion with your end users what permissions they require. And there are subsets of permissions underneath each one of these main permission sets. Select the permissions this user needs and then go to the access tab. This is when does the user have access to this account. By default, it's set for 24 hours. You can set it for work hours or non-work hours. These are defined in the account settings. Or you can set it to a custom work schedule by day to the half hour if you need to. If you want to use a POI ID field, you may. It's not required, uh, but it is another searchable field to find this employee if you need to. Lastly, you need to associate camera permissions to this user. So you do that by either associating individual cameras or by associating layouts. We don't have any layouts created, therefore we don't see the layout option here. So it is a good idea to create your layouts before you start adding your users. Now a quick note, when you create a new user, they automatically receive access to existing cameras. But when you create a new camera, that new camera does not automatically give access to that existing user. So you have to make sure when you create a new camera that you go over and give it to appropriate permissions to the, to the right people. Uh, you could also select the all button here and this will automatically grant access to all cameras for this user going forward from this point on, whether they're an admin or not. Thank you for watching this Eagle Eye University video training series video. Please email us at university at een.com for any questions or comments. For more training videos, go to een.com university or visit our YouTube page.